All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how I got some wood stain and some wax polish, and I made a piece of pine look like old oak, and how I made a piece of wood look like marble. Now, this was my practice run, my first ever attempt, and it turned out so good that it means now I've got confidence to transfer this onto my latest project, which is a coffee table with loads of little drawers. And I want to get this uh, oak effect around the outside the drawers and the marble on the inside. But I didn't want to do that right away in case I messed it all up. So now I'm happy with it. I'm going to show you what you need and how to do it. So let's get making. The first thing I did was got myself a piece of pine, marked out a circle and then I cut it out. And once I'd done that, I removed all the rough edges with some sandpaper. Next up, I got some teak wood stain and covered the entire surface. And once it were dry, I sanded it with some 120 grain sandpaper. Once you can see the grain, you remove all the dust and give it a coat of dark oak wax polish. Let it soak in and dry for a few minutes and then just get yourself a clean cloth and polish it all up. And this is the effect that you get. Now in that last video, my poor old router died. So I've bought myself a new one and to test it out, I flipped the disc over and I cut myself a nice pattern into the edge. I think it turned out all right. You might notice there's a little piece missing, but that don't matter. I just cut a piece of wood and glued it in. So now what I'm doing is I'm mixing up the clear resin in accordance with the instructions on the bottle. I'm mixing it all in one cup. And I'm putting some paper on the table because I don't want resin all over my table. And I'm putting two pieces of wood underneath so it doesn't stick to the newspaper. Um, I let the resin settle for a couple of minutes. And then what I did was pour a little bit into the second jar and a tiny bit into the third. And added mica powder to the first container. Now when I mixed it, it seemed a little bit opaque, a little bit clear. And I thought I might be able to see the wood grain through it. So I decided I'm going to spray the wood white. But as you can see, some of the wood just absorbed the paint. Well, that doesn't matter because it just adds to the effect later on. So now in the second jar, I added a little bit of black powder and a little bit of the white to make gray. And I poured the white onto the wood. Now, for some reason, I decided it's a good time to mix up my gold now. I, I don't know why I didn't carry on spreading the white. But anyway, there we go. I've mixed up the gold. Fantastic. Just a tiny little bit. That's all you need. And then I spread the white on top of the wood, making sure I've got a... It's not a smooth layer, but it's, it's covered the full surface. That's all I need to do is total coverage all over the surface and all around the edges. It levels itself out after, so it doesn't matter. So the next thing, I took the grey and added a little bit of grey, but to be honest, that looked a bit rubbish. So I took a stick and I gave it a bit of a scrape and that looked a bit rubbish as well. So I scraped it a bit more and it still looked rubbish. So there we go. Mess it up with my fingers, see what it looks like. No, that's rubbish too. Oh. So, go and get your heat gun. Blast it with a heat gun, and all of a sudden it transforms. It, it really does, that's, that's what makes this. 
just get it on there, blast it all over and make sure you're on a level surface because you can see it's all running to one side. So I, I didn't want that. So quickly I had to find something just to put underneath to try and level it up to stop it all running off the edge. And that did the trick. And next, got some of the gold and just, just dab it on. Just give a little pattern, dab it on. I uh, put some around the edges because I thought that might, it looks like the gold runs all the way through the edges then, all the way through the stone. But that didn't look very good either. So once again, go and get your heat gun. Give it a blast and watch what difference it makes. All of a sudden that gold just seems to separate. Um, it reacts with the other resin and it it really does look good. You, you can't get the justice on this on, on a video. You've got to see it in real life. These photographs don't do it justice. Now, when it comes to real marvel, I'm no expert, but this really does look good. And if I can get this effect on the front of my drawers, I'll be really happy. But if I get it wrong, everything will be ruined. If you want to see how it turns out, don't miss that next video. Subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching guys. Catch you next time. made some wood. some wood. I'm going to show you how I turned wood turn wood stain. Which is a coffee table with a load of little drawers in it. And what I want oh bloody hell. Can't win can you?